G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of U-Boat on U606. Uh, today it's the 10th of February 1943 and we're leaving port at 1pm. Our orders are to go and patrol sectors AB5 through to AB9, sink 4,000 tons worth of enemy ships and travel a total distance of 2,000 kilometers. So I just want to say a big thanks to everybody who's watching and supporting the uh, series on the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you've got any questions or even any advice, just leave those down in the comments below. And if you're new around here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more content because I do try and post at least one video for you boat every week if I can. I do have to fit this in around a full-time job though, so you got to bear with me on that. So we can see our patrol sector on the map here and it's right above a post-it note on the map there so it says we've got to sink 50,000 tons worth of shipping in that area. We've done 3,000 or so tons so I'm really hoping that we can find a nice big convoy in the area right next to us and we can get that 50,000 or close to it. Here we are at the patrol zone then so We'll get one of our guys up on the radio and he can send that back to the BDU and we'll get a reward. It's just 150 points or whatever it is, but uh, it all counts. And we'll get the boat down to periscope depth and we'll start using our sonar equipment to try and pick up some enemy ships. And we'll just uh, plot ourselves a little pattern here that we're just going to cruise around until we do find something. All right, so we've uh, managed to mission complete. We've done the allotted amount of kilometers in the patrol zone. We didn't manage to find anything. So what we're going to do is head back down towards this Arctic convoy point on the map. That's really where we want to be trying to pick up some uh, enemy ships. And I don't know if we get a reward for sinking 50,000 tons, but it's available and it's there. So we're going to head on down there and see if we can find something anyway. So I've got a message here coming in from the BDU. Um, get somebody to go and jump on the radio. The captain will be a good one. And we'll see what the BDU have to say for themselves. Probably a lost ship or go and sink a particular ship that's part of a convoy. So we'll just have to see what that's all about. I do quite like this uh, new feature where you have to kind of sit and watch them on the radio rather than them just doing it in the background. It would be nice to have the option not to watch them doing it but it's in there and it's not a bad effect okay so new mission and it's good to go and sink a empire confidence and they've given us the location for that on the map oh yeah that's good and it's a nice big convoy so we'll start by marking that on the map here hopefully they're heading in our direction and then we don't need to worry about closing the gap or catching up to them too much. Yeah, they are heading towards us, which is good. So we'll just let them move forward, chuck another mark down, pull the ruler through it, and we'll hopefully won't be too far away from finding contact with them. All right, so we've uh, plotted their course, and we've been sitting here waiting patiently for them. Pulled the line through where they were going, and it looks like they've just taken a sharp turn there to the right. So now we've got to try and get ahead of it, I suppose, and see what it is that they're doing. So I guess we're going to have to just basically start again and put another couple of marks down and pull the line through again. And hopefully we'll be at a nice 90 degree angle to the convoy. Just got to wait and see what direction it is they're actually going. It looks like they're on our northeast, so yeah, we're not too far away from them. So we've got some contact here on the uh, map with the hydrophone, just about in sight. So we've got a flower class warship there leading the way. A couple of boats here. So I think what I'm going to do is pause the game and I'm going to grab my ruler, pull a line through one of the ships here to try and get the angle in which the convoy is heading. And that it should hopefully be the same for all ships in this convoy. There's plenty to pick in the uh, 
opening stages I suppose might be able to fire off two or three shots depending on how many escorts are in here no I didn't mean to click over there I want to be at a 90 degree angle to them but we're in a pretty good spot they're heading right towards us let's just see what else we got in this convoy here so they got one escort and we'll have a look around see what else is in here so you've got a T2 tanker which is in probably within range of a torpedo and he's as you can see on the map here there's plenty to choose from it's just we got to pick the right target I suppose so I just want to see what else is in here how many warships there are it might be a case of taking them out first and then using torpedoes and a deck gun to take out the rest of the convoy so I'm just scoping out the convoy here just to see what my best options are and we've spotted this enemy warship at quite a bit of a distance here but it's definitely a threat for us um, kind of hard to tell what it is from this angle it's not the best but I'll do a little bit of the homework for it and just gonna keep scouting out the convoy to see what it is we can actually pick up so it looks like we've got ourselves an empire something or other not too far away from us so uh, every ship I'm looking at by the way I'm just typing in the information that we do know recognizing them so that if we do to come back for a torpedo then we don't have to do so much but this ship's going to be a good one for us to get the speed of the convoy right now so in front of the crosshair through there and back of the crosshair through the scope as well and stop that okay so we know that the convoy is going at seven knots and we know the angle that they're traveling see if he's in range of our torpedo oh, he's just over five kilometers away so it's a little bit too far for us to get a torpedo on him we'll keep searching through the convoy and we'll see if anything is within range hopefully we'll manage to pop a couple of shots off pretty quickly this guy looks like he might be just a little bit out of range as well but uh, we'll still enter in the information that we know any information that we can get it's going to help to speed up any attacks that we do end up doing also it gives the enemy warships less time to come towards us once we do pop up and take the solution okay there's this little corvette here which is leading the charge and it's the closest boat to me as it is so i'm thinking i'm going to launch a torpedo at that because it just gets it out of the way they're the quickest to react when we do uh, put them on into a state of an alarm so I think it's just best to get rid of it it's just a little flower class I would like to know if I could actually challenge a flower class with a deck gun maybe from distance because they're a bigger target than us but I don't know so yeah just gonna check the distance and I'm gonna check the speed of this boat as well just in case he's traveling slightly faster than the convoy okay so stop and sit yep so he is doing the same speed as the rest of the convoy just wanted to be sure because he's definitely going to be taking a torpedo I am quite keen to definitely get shots off on other ships we do have four torpedoes available from the front of the boat so it would be nice to get them off so we'll just have a look at this T2 see if he's within range just keep forgetting to recognize a ship before I check distances I used to do things the other way around before now it tells you that you have to do that first so gotta get used to doing that see how far away you are just out of range of a torpedo as well Okay, this guy here definitely want to be sending some torpedoes towards that as well. If we can get two of the escorts taken down and out of our way, it's going to make everything so much easier. Is that a better angle for us to work with as well? So now we know the distance, speed, angle, recognize that. So it's going to be the flower class, the destroyer, and I've also lined up the T2 tanker. I just want to make them sure I'm moving with the convoy here. Okay, so we're moving with the convoy now and just want to double check the distance of the enemy warship there before we launch a torpedo. So you're definitely good for two torpedoes, make sure you go down. 
So it's two, oh, zwei, one, two, two, one. Oh, one two, one and two, fire. Los! And hopefully we'll get two good hits on that and we'll zoom out and just get on to the next target. So target number two is the Corvette that's leading the convoy closest to me. Definitely got to check the distance oh, every time I want to launch a torpedo just in case it's changed. I don't know how well the computer keeps a track of it for you. Yep, tube three's going. That's on its way to take that. Hopefully we'll get a hit with that. And I'm also keen on this T2 tanker. Now I've only got one torpedo available for that and I don't know if that's going to be enough to uh, put a nice big fat hole in it. But we will definitely slow her down. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll do that and we'll get that fired away right now. Okay, Corvette got hit. Totally ripped the front of the ship off. That's fantastic. Have to be quick here to zoom out and get onto the um, enemy warship that we want to keep an eye on. It's a bit late with that one there. We've got two hits on the, um, the big one though. Hopefully that'll be enough to sink it. No fire on board or anything, but they are telling us it's serious damage, so I think we might just have to be patient and see what happens with her. She's got a big lean on to the port side there. Hopefully she's going to take on a bit of water. Actually, the decks are washing over already. It looks to me like she's going to go down pretty rapidly, actually. That's good news. Check out that other tanker boat as well, see how we do with that one. Watching this one for a couple of seconds here, it looks like we got a miss. Okay, so we put a bit of a dent into the convoy, so we're on the outskirts of it still, but the alarm state, so we are just going to ghost with them and see if we can get back in there once we all chill out again. Hopefully, not too long. Managed to sneak with the convoy, and it looks like they've kind of calmed down a bit after that last attack, so we're going to resume with um, stalking and doing all our calculations on these boats and see if we can maybe get a few more torpedoes away definitely want to be trying to aiming for the bigger ships first any ship that might have guns on it all these stragglers we can just surface the boat and um, use our deck gun to sink them would be nice if I could take down every single ship in this convoy but I'm not sure if that's going to be a reasonable thing to do. do wish we could get more torpedoes. But we've just got to keep working on the solution. I've got to check the speed of them because I don't know if they've fully calmed down. Okay, so they've changed the speed a little bit. They're going 8 knots now, not 7 knots. So might still be running at alert but we'll um, keep doing some calculations on these guys and uh, we'll see when the time's right and we'll pick our best shots so we just have to play the long game for a little bit just got to keep making sure don't know if every ship in the convoy is doing 8 knots now or are they going to slow back down so we're just going to keep working it out and eventually we'll manage to get some shots away so we'll check the speed of this guy as well Okay, so that's the second ship that we've checked and they're both doing 8 knots, so I'm beginning to think the whole convoy is moving at that same speed. I'm quite keen to get a torpedo or two heading towards this one and that empire that we were just looking at before. Okay, so just check the um, direction of travel for all of these guys. It looks like they've changed their course ever so slightly, just a couple of degrees, they're going from 83 to 85. But I'm definitely going to get one going on this Empire. So it's going to be one of our torpedoes. And then there's that T2 tanker on the left of it, which I'm also going to aim for as well. And hopefully one torpedo at the Empire. And two torpedoes at this tanker should hopefully be enough to put them both down. And then I guess we'll have to dive the boat again and make sure that we don't get tracked down by any more escorts that may or may not be close by to us. So we hit 
the Empire. Hopefully it's going to be enough to put her down. Big fire on board, masts fallen over. Looks like the water's washing up high already. But it doesn't look like it's going to be enough to sink her at this stage, so we better move on. We've got plenty more to take out. Okay, it looks like we hit the T2 with at least one torpedo there at the front of it. But uh, definitely wasn't going to be enough to sink it. I'm just going to put a mark on the map here where I hit those two ships just in case we can come back and see if they are uh, still there. But at the moment, we've got to focus our attention to the rest of the convoy. We don't want to let them get away. And we're definitely not surfacing the boat right now either. So I've managed to reload some torpedoes while uh, we were uh, down at depth there, just evading any possibility of an alarm status. So we're back up with the convoy now. Hopefully they've calmed down again and we can start checking them out and getting a solution. So we've got another T2 tanker. This isn't the one that I hit previously. I think that one's moving at a bit of a slower rate now, but we do need to check the speed of the convoy again, just to be sure. Let's the back of the ship through the crosshair and set the button. Okay, so they're still doing their seven knots as they were before. Better just double check our distance. We want to get a torpedo off to this guy. Don't really have any torpedoes warmed up at the moment. Got a guy on it, but uh, he's only doing one very slowly, so we're going to get one away and we're going to hope that that might be enough to do a good bit of damage but you never know, might have to come back again with a deck gun for it perfect, good hit there right in the middle of the boat got a nice big fire on board as well now these are bigger boats so I don't know if one torpedo is going to be enough but We'll hang tight and we'll just see if it is. Looks like a pretty big hole to me in the side of it. I can see the timber work inside. Well, we've been waiting a little while there. It was a nice big hole that went into the side of that boat from that one torpedo. Looks like they're starting to throw the lifeboats over, so she must be going down. Still got a big fire on board, so I'd say that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good torpedo attack there. It's enough to take down some serious tonnage there, hopefully that will count towards the arctic tonnage that's on the map. So we're still right in the thick of it here, there's quite a few guys on alert and there's still plenty more ships for us to try and take down. Uh, they are kind of moving around like crazy, not too sure how many more escorts are involved in the convoy here but hopefully I can just keep stalking around pop our head up every now and again and try and get a torpedo away and uh, if we find a straggler maybe use a deck gun okay we've got a bit of a situation here with the convoy it's sort of going all over the place and it looks like they kind of know where I am roughly and I've got a destroyer pretty much right over my head so I've got my engineer guy and he's gonna chuck out a, a little decoy here hopefully we can just stay submerged 25 26 meters should hopefully be enough to avoid detection here so we had to break contact from the um, convoy there but we have kind of got this one guy who's quite close to where we are and he's on his own so I'm pretty keen to surface the boat see if I can use the deck gun if we can get close enough doesn't look like it's anything else oh, there's another boat there uh, quite close actually don't know if it's going to be much of a threat, but uh, I've got the cover of darkness on our side. A little bit far away from shooting, but let's see what we can do with the deck gun here. Pretty cold, wintry night in the Arctic to be taking fire. Be the last thing you want. But hopefully we'll get it done, and we can get back down under the water ASAP, just in case any fire starts coming in my direction. I don't know how much how much more um, is out there looking for us, but hopefully I can do this one quite quickly. Yeah, if you look just out in front of the boat, 
on the water line you'll see that there's some shells heading our way we're a pretty small target in the water I'm a bit worried about what he's firing this guy here has taken a lot of shots from me so hopefully there won't be too many more needed but there we go now we can sink the boat get back down under and have a look now we're in a pretty good situation with the convoy right now they've kind of broken off into sort of two or three different groups and every now and again I can just pick off a little straggler like this one this one's not really a little straggler but it's it's a big boat but it's on its own she's got a couple of guns on board but she ain't seeing us from where we are so we just recognize that looks like a Liberty cargo uh, we already know the angle but we need to check on her speed and all of that since that last attack she probably still on a high alert so get the front of the boat through the crosshair and start our clock and the back of the boat through the crosshair and set that now we just need to get that distance and hopefully we've already sunk one ship similar with just a single torpedo so I'm gonna try that again just so we can save torpedoes to try and take down other boats front tube one get that heading in her direction and hopefully that'll be enough to sink it good another direct hit another fire on board masts are falling over now we just got to wait patiently to see if that's going to be enough to put her down or if she needs a little bit of help from us She's been burning for quite a while now. Front end of the ship looks like she's pretty low in the water. Still a raging fire at the back of the boat. I hope it's not one of those that just ends up sitting with her ass up in the air for quite some time. And you've got to go and put one round into it just to help it sink. It looks like she's going to go down on her own. So one torpedo one ship down that's good we've got torpedoes to now use on other ships in the convoy so again I've found a straggler in the convoy just looks like a little NA1 but um, I would say it's probably worthy of a torpedo again just to be safe I don't want to surface the boat right now get back into that other periscope view but I uh, do need to do all the workings out for every boat at this stage because they must be on quite high alert I think they started with about 30 ships in the convoy or something and we've managed to take down quite a few of them so I'm just going to get the speed for this one again just playing it safe Stop the clock and set that seven knots it is uh, one torpedo is heaps and tube, to tube five don't often get to use that so I'm definitely going to send it away at this boat here while I can Perfect, good hit looks like enough damage to send that down they normally don't last long with a torpedo in them the NA ones they go down quite easily straight away yep she's going down oh and that's the one that they wanted us to sink in the first place well that's lucky Okay, so we're going to uh, carry on with the convoy and see if we can just pick off one or two more stragglers if we do have any torpedoes available for us. Okay, so we're kind of running alongside a couple more boats here of the convoy. They don't look like they're escorted, but I've um, got a few torpedoes left, so I'm going to use them. Let's just get the captain to zoom in on him, make sure I'm on the right boat there looks like they've done some of the working out for me but I'm um, not very happy with that I know what they're doing um, I, the only thing I will check again though is the speed just in case they've changed that just can't trust them so we've got an empire empire something tower so we'll just grab our stopwatch here and get the front of the boat in the crosshair set the clock and back of the boat stop the clock set that so we know the speed now is a lazy seven knots as usual 
Now we're just going to double check the distance before we get a torpedo flooded and on the way. Single torpedo should be enough. We've only got two left after this, so I'm kind of hoping it's enough. If it's not, deck gun's always available. Good, that's another solid hit. Right in the middle of the boat, a nice big fire. And the mast is falling over. She's clouded in smoke. Hopefully she's going to start taking on enough water. Go down all by herself. Don't really want to have to surface the boat right now. She looks like she's taking on a lot of water now. Just a quick check of the um, health bar of the boat there. Yep. Saw the health just shot right down there and she's... Oh, no. <laughs> and the front of the ship falls off. <laughs> Classic. Oh well, that's another boat dealt with and she's on her way to the bottom. And we'll have to catch up with the convoy and see if we can get our eyes on something else. Okay, again we've managed to catch back up with the convoy and we've got a lone ship out on the wings. So there's another one of these big Liberty cargoes. So she's definitely going to be worthy of a torpedo. Could even be the one Liberty cargo that I hit earlier with a single torpedo that didn't sink. Maybe it's going to be a that same ship. I can't say for certain because we're on the other side of it. We'll just check the speed of this one again. Stop, stop the watch there. Okay, so apparently she's doing oh, eight right. knots. Must be alerted from one of those other ships that I sunk perhaps so tube 3 is going to get flooded and sent her way hopefully that will be enough gosh that's a mean hit gave her a good shake up got a nice big fire on the deck hopefully she's going to be enough to burn a big hole in herself as well we'll just see if how much water she's going to take on She's been sitting here burning for a little while, heavily listing to the starboard side there. Looks like they're starting to chuck the goods overboard, so I would say that's a good job done there. Single torpedo, possibly one from earlier, can't be sure though. And yep, decks are washing over, so she's on her way down. Not bad, I'd say. So just as we sunk that Liberty there, we've uh, got another straggler just behind us, so surfacing up. I'm going to go and attack these, this boat here with the deck gun just to save uh, any torpedo. It's going to be an unarmed boat, it's definitely got no escort. That Liberty would have had guns on it, so I think I made the right choice in taking down the big boat first. And now we can just use this one. Not really a good time to be having a dick gun fired at you. Cold winter night in the Arctic. 2.30 in the morning. You know your night's not going to end well when you're being chased by a torpedo. Uh, not a torpedo. <laughs> being chased by a submarine. Some nutcase is on firing at you. But that's the way it goes. So anyway. I'm just going to stop the boat here because they're heading towards me. So I'm going to chop me out. Good job, got a fire on the board there. Can't be too many more shots and she'll be on her way down as well. Got a feeling she can't handle much more of this. Maybe four or five more shots and she should be on her way down to the bottom. Got a fire on board. Okay. She's been burning for a little while. Back end's looking pretty deep. Oh no, that's the front end, eh? front ends deep in the water and they're on the lifeboats so I'm guessing that she's gonna go down and we're not going to be taking any prisoners I say no prisoners no surrender no retreat but uh, yep they can sit there and watch their boat sink to the bottom and then they can try and find their way home okay not a bad um, session there taking down boats. I think we're gonna start heading back west towards port but uh, if we find anything else we will use the deck gun if we need to just to sink it. 
So I'm just heading back through the two marks I put on the map earlier where we um, shot a couple of boats. I thought they might have sat here and possibly been floating still. But um, there's nothing here, we didn't pick anything up, so maybe maybe they sunk all by themselves or maybe maybe they kept on going with the convoy and I missed them. Um, either way, just going to start heading down towards the port here now because we've used up all of our torpedoes. Um, not sure if that little post note there on the map is just that one sector or is this the whole region because uh, it kind of feels like we've sunk quite a few ships there and would, would, would have put a good dent onto that 50,000 that's for sure uh, not sure if we're actually going to make 50,000 because we do have the opportunity here to join the port of La Rochelle and just for entertainment sake of the series being the year that it is, I mean, we might as well join that because there'll be plenty of convoys making over it from America. Yeah, so we're just going to talk to old Mr. Schmidt here. Good job. We've got a couple of uh, guys who might get some medals up here. Hopefully, they're going to skill up as well so we can make them even better for the next attacks. Murray gets a little bit, not enough XP to go to the next level though. Not too bad. Okay, so we're up to 38,000 tons now of that Arctic Convoys. Maybe I'll do one more episode out of Bergen if the option to leave is still um, available after that. I don't know if it will or will not be, but well, we sunk quite a few boats there. We sunk 33,000 tons, 26 days at sea, travelled quite a fair distance. We want to get there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we managed to sink nine ships. That's not a bad haul. I'm going to be pretty happy with that, I suppose. All our messages with the BDU. If you want to read them, you can. So, you had to just uh, sit and watch this guy who's in the storeroom here who seems to have a pipe and a cigarette in the ashtray. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. And if you're enjoying the series, do let me know in the comments any tips, tricks, or if you need to know anything that I may or know that you might not or vice versa don't be afraid to put a comment down there and I'll pretty much get back to you so uh, stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next episode